There are countless astonishing relics still to be unearthed in Peru, rediscovered within the modern age. Like that of Machu Picchu, long forgotten, engulfed by nature, still hidden within our past. With those which are rediscovered, simply dismissed en masse by cult-like actions of many of our modern institutions, most of which, at a loss to explain the advanced nature of many of these relics, simply labeling said sites as pre-Incan. Peru is home to some of the most exquisite polygonal stonework to be found anywhere on the planet. Additionally, some of this inexplicable stoneworking incorporated some of the most enormous of stones into their construction. Furthermore, the Inca Road, a ruin we have previously covered, long ignored and rarely discussed, it is the largest man-made structure ever found, dwarfing the Great Wall of China, stretching an astounding 25,000 miles, once connecting many of the most inexplicable sites found within the country. It seems Peru was once a very important place, and possibly the capital of a civilization now lost long ago within history. Many of the unexplained ancient ruins we cover also express a near obsession with the movement of the planets amongst the stars. And a huge portion of these ruins were either celestially aimed or had some form of astronomical significance built into their design. And our next subject of interest is of no exception. Known as Chanquillo, we feel it is a demonstration of exceptional astronomical knowledge abilities far out of the reach of its currently academically claimed constructor. Rivaling even that of Stonehenge, it is an ancient monumental complex located along the Peruvian coastal desert in a place known as the Casma Sichin Basin within the Ancash department of Peru. Atop a hill, there are 13 towers regularly spaced, forming a toothed horizon. What is incredible about this undertaking, however, is that throughout the year, if one is positioned in the correct place, one can witness the sunrises between each of these ridges, with solstices also significantly highlighted by their builders. The question is, how did a people place centuries ago within known history, and thus, with a far more limited understanding of astronomical precisions, accomplish the building of such an enormous ruin, aligned with the sun with such accuracy? Just like that of the precision displayed in other ancient ruins, Perfectly aligned to cardinal points, the Chanquillo is yet another example of an ancient civilization's workmanship, far more advanced and far more capable than that of the culture academia currently claims as the maker of said relic. From the east and west, investigators designated two possible observation points. From these vantages, the 300-meter-long spread of the towers corresponds to the rising and setting positions of the sun over the year. On the winter solstice, the sun would rise behind the leftmost tower of Chanquillo and rise behind each of the towers until it reached the rightmost tower six months later on the summer solstice. Inhabitants of Chanquillo would have been able to determine the date with an accuracy within a day or two simply by observing the sunrise or sunset from these correct observational points. The 13 towers have been interpreted as an astronomical observatory built in the 4th century BC. However, we believe, with such incredible abilities and knowledge of the processional positions required to have constructed these towers, they are far out of the reach of our own well-studied currently claimed ancient ancestors. Claimed as that of the Chasma Sichin culture, we however disagree with this posit, simply on the grounds of its astonishing nature and the capabilities of its past constructor. It is a place which we find highly compelling. In 1835, an unknown laborer in Kent, the UK, was doing his usual field work. When he struck the soil in what could be classified as a lucky spot, upon impacting the ground, his spade disappeared into the earth, breaking a doorway into an underworld like no other. The lad soon realized that he was standing on an entrance to hollow underground caverns that from the surface could not be seen. Word quickly spread regarding the find and the curiosity to see what was actually down there soon began to boil over. A local school teacher kindly volunteers his young son Joshua to make the dangerous trip down beneath the ground to see what was actually down there. He described rooms encrusted with millions of carefully arranged shells. 
people were obviously a little skeptical regarding the claims initially. Yet when the hole was eventually widened, allowing to see for themselves, they were stunned when the boys' accounts were confirmed as completely true. Now known as the Shell Grotto of Margate, its origins or purpose still remains a complete mystery to this day. Almost all the surface area of the walls and roof are covered in mosaics created entirely out of seashells, totaling about 190 square meters of mosaic, calculated to be around 4.6 million shells. Various hypotheses have dated its construction to any time in the past 3,000 years. Theories have included that it was an 18th or 19th century rich man's folly, that it was a prehistoric astronomical calendar, and even that it could be connected to the Knights Templar. Interestingly, no publicly known scientific dating of the site has yet to be completed. The most frequently used shells throughout the mosaic, mussels, cockles, whelks, limpets, scallops, and oysters are largely local. They could have been found in sufficient numbers from four possible bays, yet the majority of the mosaic is formed from the flatwinkle, which is used to create the background infill between the designs. However, this shell is found only rarely locally, so would have been collected from shores west of Southampton. Shell Grotto is certainly an amazing, yet not very well-known find. More scientific research is clearly needed if we are to unravel the mysteries of its incredible construction.